Welcome back for the last time to Fiserv Forum. We moved out here on the deck of the Panorama Club. The Democrats won't be the first Milwaukee National Political Convention. In fact, the Socialists hosted Milwaukee's first political convention in 1932 and the city's most recent. That was in 2015. I visited the Milwaukee County Historical Society and spoke with the head archivist in the research library. He showed me a journal the Socialists passed out during the event. Why is Milwaukee an attractive place for socialists? Well, I because the, the first uh, socialist convention was held in 1932. Uh, but for years prior to that, I mean, Milwaukee was a, a real fertile ground for the Socialist Party. Um, you know, they, there was a huge labor pool. Uh, there were a lot of people, uh, free thinkers, people, you know, with a liberal kind of, you know, political ideology. So, you know, there's several reasons why the socialists were so successful in Milwaukee. I mean, you had leaders like Dan Hone, who was mayor of Milwaukee for 24 years. A socialist mayor. A socialist mayor, yes. Frank Zeidler, also a socialist mayor, in addition to selecting their presidential candidate during that convention in 1932, the socialists called for an end to prohibition, touting they were the first political party to do that. Wisconsin Republicans used Milwaukee's socialist past to take a dig at the Democrats. The state party put out a statement that said, no city in America has stronger ties to socialism. And the American left has come full circle with the Democrats coming to Milwaukee. I'm Adrian Pedersen. Thank you for watching our special edition from Pfizer Forum. We'll be back next Sunday on Upfront.